we've dealt with Delcam for probably seven or eight years now. Um, Delcam offers a lot of functionality in terms of the, the programming capability within the software. Um, we like it, its capability to give us rapid programming, so really reducing the time that it takes to, to give us our required cutter path strategy. We're primarily focused on the aerospace sector. I guess 95% of the projects we do here uh, are directly uh, involved with aerospace. We also have uh, links with uh, Formula One and, and the small amount of automotive industry, uh, the submarine sector and uh, Rolls-Royce Marine as well. The AMRC was established in 2001 uh, with the ultimate aim of bridging the gap between uh, academic research and applied engineering solutions. It's uh, giving a market for, for key research areas uh, and also understanding the, 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 the current production company's requirements uh, both now and looking forward 5, 10, 20 years in the future. Uh, we're constantly being driven on uh, reduced cost, so process cost. So how do we achieve that uh, cycle time reductions, understanding the limitations of the process to be able to challenge traditional production methods uh, and apply new, uh, new technology developments in tooling, strategies, uh, machine tool developments. So yeah, basically this is obviously one of the parts that we are machining on this machine at present. Uh, this is the subframe body, as you can see. This is uh, the drawing supplied by Bloodhound. They've also supplied the models as well. First operation is we just skimmed up the top face using a raster program. And then obviously from there, we use a series of area clearance, model area clearance programs using a 63 millimeter face mill tool to remove uh, quite a large amount of the material, as you can see. AMRC has always been a strong advocate of the Bloodhound project. Um, not only because it's a, an exciting engineering challenge to go a thousand miles an hour, but also the, the real drive of the project to, to bring young engineers through uh, to get kids back interested in engineering again. You know, it's a very exciting, a very sellable uh, uh, initiative really. So we've always been very keen to support it in any way we can. Uh, I think the most complex operation was these pockets here. Cause like I say, they are quite deep, They're approximately 122 millimeter deep. Uh, as you can well see there, got quite a small corner radii. In them, so it's quite challenging, but obviously we overcome these. Roughed them out using uh, Delcam's new Vortex strategy, uh, which is quite useful, quite helpful. The, the functionality within Delcam is it enables us to be on machine cutting a lot quicker than the, the alternative software solution. So uh, we, it really reduces our, our programming time. So in, in these particular instance, uh, we've been under quite strict time constraints to deliver for the, the Bloodhound build. This is where we use the vortex to rough you to tell you about the deep pockets and obviously a challenge and obviously to rough those out as well. So what we've got here is uh, obviously Delcam's new vortex strategy. And obviously what it's doing at first off is it's helicoling down to its correct depth. And what you're doing, you're taking advantage of the flute length from the tool. This is approximately about a 40 millimeter depth of cut and then it helicals down to its depth and then it obviously it works its way out using Vortex strategy. On machine, we, we utilize on machine inspection cycles. So as we're getting near to finish, we can actually probe the surfaces and adaptively machine if required to ensure that we get good geometrical tolerance on the machine. Uh, we then are tied in with Hexagon Metrology uh, who give us an offline verification of, of, of those measurements. We've, we've recently opened our uh, training center, so 150 apprentices coming through that per year. And the Bloodhound project has a lovely synergy with that, uh, with its interests, open access engineering, all the part geometries, everything that's going on on the project is open on the internet. So it's, it's really a great initiative for getting young kids interested in engineering.